the top 10 data analytics certifications. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. We are gonna be going over the best certifications to become a data analyst. Now keep in mind, this is just my opinion based on helping a bunch of students get jobs, reaching out to other experts, and from my own personal experience. But with that being said, it is just my opinion. Opinions vary. So if you disagree with me, or if you agree with me, go ahead and comment down below because there's a lot of subtleties to these. You know, sometimes one might be better for one country or one might be better for one industry. And when you comment down below on this stuff, everybody gets to win. So let's start off with number 10, which is the TDWI Certified Business Intelligence Professional. And this one covers traditional business intelligence concepts. It requires passing two mandatory exams and one specialty exam. For the first mandatory exam, you can pick either the IS Core or Business Core exam. Then the second mandatory exam is the Data foundations exam. And it's also valid for three years. Now, an interesting fact about this one is TWDI offers a variety of more current topic specific certificates that may be more valuable than this broad certification. And remember, the best certification for you depends on your career goals, current skills, and the specific requirement of your target industry or role. So always research the current job market and the required skills in your area before committing to a certification program. So the reason this one is number 10 is while TDWI is a respected organization, this certification certification has become less relevant due to rapid changes in the field of data analytics. Next is going to be the Oracle Business Intelligence Certification. And the reason why this one is number nine and not higher is because while valuable for Oracle specific roles, it does have limited usefulness in the broader data analytics field. So this one requires passing a single exam and it's valid for life, but it may become outdated as technology evolves. And an interesting fact is Oracle offers hands-on labs to practice with their BI tools before taking the exam. Next is the DataCamp Data Scientist Professional Certification. And it offers an advanced track for students looking to expand their skills beyond data analysis into data science. And this comprehensive program covers Python, R, SQL, and machine learning, which provides a robust skill set for aspiring data scientists. And this certification includes an impressive 84 courses and 21 projects, ensuring a thorough and practical learning experience. And with self-paced learning and hands-on coding exercises, students can master complex concepts at their own speed. And the certification is widely recognized in the data science community, making it a valuable credential for career advancement. Now, here's an interesting fact. DataCamp's platform includes over 350 courses, allowing learners to continue expanding their skills beyond the certification requirement. And it also requires passing an exam to get your certificate. Next is going to be the Certified Analytics Professional Certification, or CAP. And the reason why this one is number seven is because it provides a broad overview of analytics, but it's less specific than some of the other certifications, and it requires more experience. Now, this one covers the entire analytics process, for instance, business problem framing, analytics problem framing, data, methodology, model building, deployment, and life cycle management. And it requires you to have a bachelor degree and five years of experience or equivalent. And this one is only valid for three years. So you actually have to renew it every three years. So this one is relatively well respected. And it was the first analytics certification to be accredited by the American National Standards Institute or ANSI. So this one is pretty good. But like I said, it's a little too broad. So next is the SAS Certified Data Scientist Certification. Now, some key points about this one is it does cover machine learning, SAS programming, and AI fundamentals. And it also requires passing an exam to get your certificate. But there's no formal prerequisites, and it's also valid for three years, so you do have to get it renewed. An interesting fact is SAS offers a 50% discount on exam fees for students and educators. Now, this one is still widely used in certain industries, making this certification valuable, but it's less broadly applicable than some of the others. So you definitely want to check in your industry industry to see which certifications are the best because this one may be one of the best in your industry and in that case it'll be higher on the list. Next is the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. Now this one is not a certification technically. This is a certificate. What do you mean? However, it's really good for beginners. It covers Python, SQL, data visualization, and dashboards, and there's no prerequisites. It's suitable for beginners, but it's also good if you have some experience as well, and it includes hands-on projects using real-world tools and data sets. So they say this can be completed in about five months with part-time study, but almost everyone reports that they can do it much faster than that, usually like one month or so. And an interesting fact is the course includes a module on job search skills specific to the data analyst role. So not only does it teach you about data analysis, Analysis, but it also really helps you to land your first job, even if you're a beginner. So this one offers a solid foundation in data analytics with the backing of major tech companies. And I will have this one in the description in the pinned comment below because I think it's good for beginners, but it is slightly less recognized than one of the other ones on the list that I'm gonna be going over. The next one is the Udacity Data Analyst Nano Degree. 
and it is a highly respected program in the data analytics community. And it's known for its project-based learning approach and reviews conducted by industry experts. And this comprehensive program covers Python, SQL, data visualization, and statistics, providing a solid foundation for aspiring data analysts. So students engage in real-world projects that are reviewed by industry experts, ensuring practical, job-ready skills. And the program offers valuable career services and networking opportunities, helping students connect with potential employers. And with a flexible schedule, the program can typically be completed in around two months, which allows students to balance their studies with other commitments. Now, while the certification doesn't formally expire, Udacity regularly updates the content to keep it current with industry trends. And here's an interesting fact. Udacity partners with leading tech companies to design their curriculum, ensuring that it aligns with current industry needs and practices. Next is going to be the Tableau Desktop Specialist. Now, Tableau is one of the most popular data visualization tools, making this certification highly relevant. And the entry-level certification focuses on core Tableau functionality. Now this one has a 60 minute 45 question exam and there's also no expiration date. So this one is pretty attractive because you don't have to keep it up to date and it's relatively quick to get. And it's also a good stepping stone to more advanced Tableau certifications. Now an interesting fact is Tableau actually offers free training videos and a free trial of their software to prepare for the exam. So yeah, this one is highly relevant, especially if you're going into a role where you're gonna be using Tableau. Next is going to be the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. And this one focuses on Power BI, which is a leading business intelligence tool, and it tests practical skills in data preparation, visualization, and analysis. And it is valid for one year, ensuring skills remain current. So that means you're going to have to get it again and again year after year. Now, an interesting fact here is Microsoft offers free learning paths and paid instructor-led courses to prepare for this certification. Now, this one is highly valued due to widespread use of Microsoft tools and businesses, but it has the big downside of you having to renew it every year. And number one on the list is going to be the Google Data and analytics professional certificate and this is by far the best one if you are a complete beginner this certificate tops the list due to its comprehensive curriculum industry recognition and accessibility so not only does it teach you very valuable skills like sql r data visualization and data cleaning but it also helps you with hands-on projects that simulate real world scenarios so it basically helps you build up your portfolio and it's also offered through coursera making it globally accessible you can check it out with the link in the description and the pinned comment below and with many of the Coursera courses, you can actually audit them for free. But if you want the certificate, you do have to actually pay for it. But Coursera is super affordable at about $59 a month. And they have a seven day free trial. Plus, if you can't afford it, they offer scholarships. So this makes incredibly high level knowledge extremely accessible. And the reason that Google even started coming out with these certificates is because they noticed that the market, aka college and certification programs, were not teaching people the skills that they actually wanted their employees to know. And so what did they do? They literally came out with these certificates to tell people exactly what they want them to know. And on top of that, there's so many other perks that you get with a certificate. For instance, Google partners with over 150 companies for potential job placement upon completion. So yeah, this one is an absolute no-brainer. It's the best for beginners. You can look at just about any place that does reviews on the internet and they're gonna be saying really good things about this one. Absolute top tier. And I even made an entire video going over why it's so good, which you can check out right here.